we're going to have a demonstration on how a Russian and chair, chair sweat, sweat works. Mm -hmm. And that is just getting a person to to get to uh, artificial, artificial fever. fever. Yes. And so we're going to go to our next set and All we're right. going to look at that. Yes. Thank you for helping us. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Shantan. All right. Well, the Russian chair sweat is an exciting way of getting the immune system going. It's helping with the detox process. It helps you to open up the pores and just to spill out those, um, those uh, toxins that, that um, would uh, get expelled through the skin. And uh, what's really important is, and you'll see there, Chantal is now praying with me. We would never do any hydrotherapy or any other treatment uh, before we have prayed because it is not the, it's not the water, the steam, the heat now that's going to heal me. It's God's loving touch of healing that's going to heal me. And so um, we will always do a prayer before we do any um, treatment um, with anybody. Then Chantal takes all my vitals. She takes my blood pressure beforehand. That gets um, uh, jotted down on a record sheet. Um, she also does my pulse rate. Um, we, we want to know what the pulse rate is um, exactly before we go into the treatment. Um, she would also take my temperature beforehand. So what we'll see is, and she'll start monitoring this, she will now start the treatment, and as this whole process now heats up, your pulse rate would go up, your, um, your heart rate would, uh, yeah, your heart rate, your pulse rate would go up, your temperature would go up, and, um, and that, would e that would be an indication for her when to stop the treatment. A treatment like this would, would never, um, uh, we would never go on longer than, than about 30 minutes. So around about 30 minutes is the time we want a person into this, um, into this treatment. And, and so we will push things as fast as we can, as hard as we can, and to get all the vitals up by the, the end of that 30 minutes. Then you'll, um, you'll notice that we've got the basin. And my feet will now go into the basin, and that water in the basin should be as hot as possible. You also would see Chantel putting some mustard uh, powder into the water. That's just really an aid to open up the pores a little bit more, so that the effect of the heat would just work um, better. And then my feet would go into the water, and uh, you would see that I would have... Um, the clothes that I would have on, um, normally a person would have a t-shirt and a short on, and uh, then it would, uh, the person would be covered with a sheet, so I'm here covered with, with a sheet, and uh, then we, we cover the sheet again with a plastic sheet, so that is a, a washable plastic sheet, and I get uh, covered with, with that, so that we can keep the heat in, and then uh, after the the sheet, the plastic sheet, there is a a thick blanket, or you could use a double bed duvet, something that would really now keep you hot and make you hot. And you can actually put more than one blanket on if you want to really speed this whole process up. It's important then that it's it's sealed on in nicely, and uh, Chantel uses a very clever method by by just uh, putting it together or keeping it together with. Um, with uh, wash line um, uh, pegs and um, and then she would give me hot drink now what we prefer giving is stinging nettle and peppermint tree um, this is a good uh, de detoxifying um, tea but it also is an alkalinizer and it would also heat me up from from the inside so uh, there I would drink the uh, the, the tea, and um, then she would start um, monitoring me. Uh, the pulse rate is going to be taken. Uh, the the temperature is going to be taken. We don't want the pulse rate to go above uh, 120 beats per minute. So the moment the person uh, gets to 120 beats per minute, then we'll take the person out of the chair sweat. Um, we don't want um, 
you know, this could be before the 30 minutes is over. We also don't want the person, um, the temperature to go above 38 um, degrees. So uh, the moment that the person gets to the to the temperature of 38, uh, before the 30 minutes of treatment is over, then we'll take the person out of this treatment. Um, what what really helps to keep the person um, tolerate the heat that's building up at the bottom is using a face cloth in ice water. And this face cloth is now rinsed out and then put uh, on the, um, the forehead. Um, what Chantelle is doing here is she's really wiping my face and wiping all the, the sweat that's now building up. She's wiping that off. And then she would um, put the, the face cloth over my head area. And one could actually put an ice pack or another ice cold face cloth coming out of the ice water at the back of the neck. So uh, that would keep the head cool, but the, um, but the body is now really heated up. Then she would make sure that the water is, is, stays as hot as possible at the bottom. So she would open up a little bit at the bottom and she would pour the water, the cooking, um, the cooked boiled water. She would pour out of the kettle into the basin and uh, you would see that she would do something very important there. She would put her hand in between the water and your client's feet. So she didn't want to burn me. So she would put her hand in between. And this is what you will do if you would wash a little baby, not to burn the little baby because they got very sensitive. Our feet is very sensitive. And, um, and, and the client would indicate, okay, you could pour more. It is not uh, burning. Or, okay, whoa, it's now too hot, just leave it like it is. That is really very important. Um, Chantal will then um, close up the whole uh, Russian chair sweat, um, Russian chair sweat again. By the time that the heat has um, gone up to, to, you know, close to 38 or um, the pulse rate has gone to uh, 120 or where the time has lapsed where it's 30 minutes, um, you would take your client and put them in bed. Now, you're going to be sopping wet. That sheet around you is going to be sopping wet because you really sweat it. And so it's important to cover your bed with plastic sheets. And yeah, you could see Chantal covering the bed that I would lie on um, with the plastic sheet. And uh, there would be two sheets. So I would lie in between the two sheets. So I would get onto the bed with the uh, you know, the half sopping uh, uh, bed sheet. And then she would cover me with a, another plastic sheet. They are washable. It's a, it's, it's, they are soft. It's really a, a good thing to have at home. And then she would cover me once again with blankets or duvet. So we want the heat to stay in there. So this process of going from the, from the hydro treatment on the chair to the bed must be swift. We don't want the body to cool down. And at in the bed, you could actually, you know, build up heat again. That is really what's going to happen. But then slowly it would, um, you would cool down. And we want to be in bed at least one hour. That hour is very important. This is really where after this um, artificial f uh, fever that you've built up, then it's very important to... Um, uh, to just look after your client while they're in bed because they can heat up too much. So here you see Chantal um, putting a wet face cloth on my face again. That was uh, a cloth that was in the ice water. She rinsed it out, put it over my head area, and you could actually put another one at the back of the neck. You could even put an ice pack. You know, you get these soft ice packs. You could put that at the back of the neck. And that would keep the head cool again. And um, what's, what's very comfortable, you do a lot of sweating there, is that, that the person monitoring you would just wipe your face every now and then to just cool you down a little bit. And uh, then you would have this immune system really, really kick in. Um, the, the 
the best results is if you could stay in bed for this hour and uh, even some of that time have a good sleep and uh, the 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 white blood cell factories are just going to get going and start making um, little antibodies because of the artificial fever that that you've that you've built up so this is basically what the um, Russian chair sweat is about it's a powerful potent way of getting the immune system going it's a powerful way of detoxifying a person and uh, it depends on on what condition the person has with some of the drugs we find that if you would want to detoxify somebody that's on drugs you would have great success by just doing two hydros a day where we normally have one a day in a detox program of at least 10 days you would find that um, the person would have at least eight um, uh, hydrotherapy sessions in that in that 11 10 11 days of, of program may God bless you if you use as you use these um, these natural remedies and hydrotherapy specific to uh, get the system going again and um, go and try it and you will see some great benefits <laughs>